well welcome back to another video today we've got some stuff to fix so we're doing a desk job we've got a couple of these things these are Alaris IV machines there's a blue one over here too I'll look at it in a minute now before you get going we're not going to be using these on people if they were this would be going to a proper authorized and accredited service center these are from a local uh, animal aid center that deals with injured wildlife and they're entirely funded by volunteers so these get used for them my understanding is they have some power supply and or battery problems so we're going to find out what's wrong with them there's another one here that's intended to be pole mounted um, this one is also very heavy i'd say the batteries are probably gone but we'll find out what the deal is with these and uh we'll give them a look this is a gemini pc1 this is an Alaris 8100. So interesting stuff. Um, we're going to uh, see what's going on. This one appears to have already been opened at some point. And uh, I can see some little bits of white crustiness. That could be lead acid leaking battery, which might not be good. Anyway, let's see what we can do with these. All right, I'm going to take a sip of my tea here. We're going to start with this one because I'm most familiar with the Alaris ones. Namely because I, uh, I get a monthly infusion at a chemotherapy center in which I receive infusions of Tysabri, which helps treat my multiple sclerosis. It doesn't do much for my anxiety and uh, other conditions like ADHD and Asperger syndrome, but, uh, you know, do what we can. The reset button on the back here. We have a, uh, an RG45 socket, I assume for networking them. And a few other bits and pieces. All right, we'll find out if we trip the RCD. We'll find out uh, if this has uh, got a fault. I'm going to plug it into power. All right, three, two, one. Plugged into power. Let's turn around. So immediately we can tell there is no life. Well, no, there is. There's a green light. Okay, so this system on a little pop in the speaker so that says power supply or battery problems so system on goes pop in the back let's unplug and we'll open up now I tried to start the system with the mains disconnected and it's uh, going that the battery is flat which is interesting that probably means the batteries are very flat so we're going to open it up and have a look anyway. Now these units on the side are additional add-ons, kind of like if you think of an add-on video card. And uh, they can be released with this little latch along the side here, and they come off. And they each have their little bus connections across there. They connect in a parallel bus. So we can isolate that as a problem by removing it. And uh, now, what do we have on the back? Anything else we can remove to make our life a little easier? This, I'm pretty sure, is a uh, Motorola uh, memory card. I'm pretty sure it's a PCMCIA slot. But we'll have a look and find out. If it's PCMCIA, card bus, or something like that, I might be able to actually read it and back it up. <coughs> Do we have... Oh, we have four screws. Okay. This will take a moment. We'll be back. Okay. The system just popped. Bring that out non-captive screws and uh, this should just pull out okay that does look like PCMCIA or it is um that's your wireless network CF card so if it's not being wireless networked it probably doesn't need that card in here but yeah compact flash cards interesting I uh, read about them a while ago they're basically the same as an IDE interface or so more or less um, you can plug mini IDE drives into them but uh, yeah, that might not be necessary for the future, but it'll go back in anyway. Now, that is a, this I'm pretty sure is an IEC lead that is hard connected um, with this little connection here. Open that up first as well. Pull this screw out, which feels kind of captive or just very long, very long. Okay. Um, and that, I have a little stud here, which covers up a screw as well. At this point I'm going to find a screw tray and put these screws somewhere safe. Okay, now we should be able to get our 
little retaining clamp off and we can remove our IEC lead which is going to make life a little easier here all right now one thing that I am unfamiliar with about these is exactly how they hide the battery I would guess that if I was going to design something like this I'd make a single panel that we can access everything from and the battery would be low down to keep the center of gravity low so there are four screws on the bottom here I'm going to pop them out see what's behind it okay we'll pull these screws out Let's use my spudger tool, drop this away. This feels like a battery. This does look like a battery. What is this? Um, 12 volt, four amp hour nickel metal hydride. Okay, that is handy because that means I can probably repack them. However, big medical equipment, I'll bet you this is resin filled. So anyway, um, let's uh, remove that. Let's plug it in with an IEC lead and see how it behaves with the battery disconnected and see if the battery pulling it down is causing a problem um, but it is 12 volts that means I may theoretically be able to hook up a different 12 volt pack to it and make an adapter for that connection um, but we don't want to go too nuts until we check out if everything else works where's my IEC lead again right let's give this some mains have a sip of cup of tea before we do that and yes it is an American flag not a noisy flag we have Americans in the house and the family send us stuff from time to time. A while back it was mugs. So can we turn you on without the battery? We can. So battery's probably just shagged. So that's a good sign though. We'll let this boot up and see what it finds. Oh, I hate that sound. Oh, I hate that sound. System will not operate. Yeah, okay, shut up. Oh God, I have spent so many hours listening to those beeps. Um, okay, so that's good. That works. All right, so it is interesting that it's not gonna work with battery backup. Let me see what sort of voltage we've got across these batteries. You know what, I might just leave this thing plugged in and charge up for a bit and see what happens. Now, interesting, when you pull a power from these and you have no battery, there's a capacitor in here that complains for a considerable amount of time. So, uh, lots of safety layers integrated into this. This thing's going to beep for quite a while. What we will do is we're going to put the Wi-Fi card back in and uh, put a few bits back together. And reassemble, basically, now that we know that there's nothing really internally buggered with it. And uh, I'm going to see if I can price up a spare battery for this thing. So, uh, yeah, that beeping just keeps going uh, until you turn it off. I'm pretty sure it's got a lithium primary in there somewhere. It has to. That's a, a humongous amount of capacitance, if it isn't. Two hours later. Okay, we've got the white Alaris back on the desk. I'm going to give the uh, little bus contacts here a quick contact clean. I'm going to reattach this been plugged in and turned on at the power point for a bit so hopefully that should clip in hopefully we have a bit of battery power let's see what happens it's going to boot up now the battery's had a little bit of time to charge so we'll see what happens it's probably going to complain about battery level but this is looking promising oh there's that sound this channel hasn't, oh no, the channel's come up, that's good. Um, don't clear the previous channel data for now. Yes, use the same profile. Okay, I don't want to mess with what they've had. But audio adjust. This is handy when you're in the hospital and the beeping is too loud to deal with, but you don't want to silence it because the nurses get grumpy with you. You can hit your test or you can go louder. Or you can go softer. This is good. This is actually going to, um, this is going to work, I think. So we might find a new battery for this, but this is good signs. Okay, there's a slight difference when you have a channel connected to this in how you power it down. And we're going to go over that in a moment. Okay, when it's booted up, we're not going to clear our patient data. And we're going to go back to the main one. If you want to turn this off, you've got to push and hold channel off here. 
uh, and then it will shut the whole system down not the system off so yes there you go yep that's gonna how, shut it down that's how you power it down okay so this is going to work I think a new battery is all this thing needs the other one has got much bigger problems I'm going to do some homework on that you can show mum what you've learned about it hey Okay. Uh, any any category will find. Mm. Yep, pick one. Just go general. Special care, why not? Special care for the animals. And confirm it down the bottom. Yep. Okay, now you can do the other thing. <laughs> yep. Oh, <I'm> sorry. <laughs> 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 Don't you just love that sound? <laughs>